Hello again and welcome to the part 2 of trails. So in the previous video we've made a couple of uh, trail textures using Substance Designer and those are kind of blurry, they, they're not fully realistic but they're also not stylized so I think they kind of sit in between. So in, for this video I thought maybe we will take what, what we already done in Substance Designer and let's try maybe add a lot more solid shapes to those trails and try to convert them into something that will be a lot more stylized in the end. Um, so I've done it so far is I've just took all those textures that we uh, worked on previously and tried to find something that tried to find basically a way to turn those into um, a lot more stylized um, look. So this is a double trail. Uh, that's a, that's supposed to be triple trail. However, it seems it just looks maybe a little bit too noisy. However, I just want to show you, but because maybe you will find a use for it. Um, and the single one, I think single one and the double one is my favorite. And also, I've just got like a, a very abstract shape that I've made in Substance Designer, and you know, it's just yeah, again, very similar to a triple trail. So it's just a little bit too noisy and. Uh, maybe not quite there. I think there is a place for double trail. I really like that one. And the single one as well. I think those are yeah, definitely my, my two favorite. So before we dive into Substance Designer, I just want to mention that 8-Bit uh, Assault reached out to me and basically ask if I can uh, mention um, about some of his products that he's got on Gamroad. And I thought maybe some of you may, will find it useful and maybe you will actually, you know, need those. So why not? Um, so the first pack seems like a, some sort of noise uh, textures. Um, and the second one, you've got like really cool shapes and um, some lenses here and maybe some circle shapes in here. And third pack, it's um, some of the ab abstract shapes and really nice blurry uh, and blurry shapes as well and you know those circular shapes um, um, might be extremely useful um, in VFX. Okay so let's dive into Substance Designer now. In the last video I think this is where we ended um, so we've got a couple of those um, trail textures so what we're trying to do now is we'll, we'll try to take some of those or even all of those and try to convert them into something that has got a lot more style to it and maybe a little bit even cartoony as well. Mm. So maybe let's start with histogram scan as we need uh, as we need those uh, defined shapes and I think histogram is one of those tools that might actually give it to us. So as you can see it's, uh, it's got this hard edge to it and it's very defined. It, uh, there's nothing, uh, there's no blurriness to it. And now maybe try to invert it as we need a distance. So maybe let's try with distance node. No, it's not this one. Distance, okay. So this is a very cool node and I'm actually using it a lot recently. But I'd like to invert it before we will uh, plug it in. Just to get this sort of shape so I can invert it back and get this sort of shape and now maybe let's try another histogram scan uh, with some contrast as well so we could get maybe something like this and as you can see it's got those really cool shapes like this one and and here as well mm. So let's go back maybe to the previous um, histogram scan node and maybe try to adjust it a bit. So we could get something a bit more aggressive and you know with those spikes here and, and here as well. Uh, next let's try use warp with parallel noise. Maybe let's try intensity 10. Obviously, the scale of the perling nose here is just a little bit too much. We just want very subtle movement. 
in um, some some of the areas. I'm going to increase the scale of it. So we can get maybe maybe something like this. Mm, let's copy pedal noise and warp to get a different result. our other node because I think we will be trying to create a uh, double on and even triple trail texture yeah that could work so now let's try to blend those together with the uh, with the add so as you can see you don't get desired results so what you probably want to do you want to run it through transform before so double click on a blend node click once on the transform and what you can do you can just offset it so maybe let's try 0.2 here and maybe uh, to uh, 0.25 here do the same trick for the trail that is uh, for the, another node, but maybe with minus 0.2. Maybe let's offset this, this one as well. So, I, what, we, what I don't like about this texture so far is this here. So, let me try to adjust it using maybe a scan. histogram scan uh, tweak some of it here as well okay so we're starting to get some really cool shapes now okay let's run it through another warp Let's see if maybe we could get um, a little bit more distortion applied to that texture. Let me change the scale of the pedaling noise. And again, maybe let's apply uh, a bit higher intensity. something like this could work so let's maybe try run it through another scan histogram scan try to get rid of that blurriness that we have okay and now maybe let's try to blur it just a bit yeah just intensity one i think that should do Okay, so we've got this texture and now what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to subtract the center of it. So a thing distance node might be ideal for it. Although, let's invert it before we plug it in. And invert it again. Now let's use blend node with the subtract uh, blending option. I'm gonna drag this one down a bit. Now let's switch the order. As you can see, we carving in and basically subtracting from the center of that texture. And to control it, you just click on the distance node 
you can see that you can you can have it just an outline what kind of light I like to do is kind of like this basically it gives you really nice details uh, later on in the engine okay so as you can see here we've got this double trail so if we want a single trail we can just take this one for example because I think this one's got a lot better shapes than the one below so I'm gonna try to do I'm just gonna take this one transform node offset it by 0.2 I think minus 0.2 so we can have it on the center and let's do the trick with the uh, distance again okay so what I did I just copied our uh, previous setup and I'm just gonna plug it in instead and into this one as well so as you can see we've got this single trail now I'm gonna go to distance and maybe you know have a bit more control over this subtraction and obviously maybe you want a simple uh, not simple sorry triple trail as well maybe with the offset Subtracted first, then blend it again. No, you still get the overlap. So we're subtracting and then we're adding. switch the order um, we still got the overlap here but I don't think it will be a, a big issue okay so now we are in Unreal Engine and what I've done I've imported those three textures we just made just to show you how they might look in the engine so let's try maybe our triple trail as you can see it's just just too noisy in my opinion but again, maybe it's something that you're trying to create and maybe it's something that you need for your project. Uh, I really like the single one, single trail. It's got really nice shapes and yeah, I really, really like it. And the double trail as well. Yep, so in my previous textures, you can see here, for example, for the double trail, I've got those nice breaks in between. So now if you go back to the Substance Designer, you can just, let's let's just get rid of the triple trail because yeah, I don't think it's it's useful. So let's maybe focus on the um, double trail, that one. So what you could do now, for example, you could go back to uh, one of your histogram scans and just adjust it. Yeah, you can see that we could get variety of the trails very very quickly without spending a lot of time in um, some other softwares like Photoshop don't get me wrong I got nothing against Photoshop and I think it's uh, you know very useful to use it especially for the things like trails and um, but you know, if you don't have drawing skills and you're just starting in the in the VFX industry, especially for games, um, I think Substance Designer might be very useful for you. And obviously, once you develop the drawing skills, you can you can take that trail that you just created. And you can save a couple variations. You can go into Photoshop and edit it with your um, artistic skills. But in this video, I just want to show you the simplest way 
well maybe not the simplest but one of the easy ways how you can create a trail so you can just plug it in into your game engine and and then use it basically but yeah feel free to experiment with those nodes and definitely play with the histogram um, scan positions once you get everything done because as you can see you could get results very very quickly and those could serve as a really nice starting point if you later planning planning to um, take uh, those old trails into the photoshop and uh, adjust them further there's one more thing i want to mention because in the past i've been using this software as well and um, this is the flame painter so what can you can you do in a flame painter basically um, just going to show you very very quickly i'm just create new file uh, you've got various um, brushes on in here for example and my favorite is uh, flame uh, you can create flames in color um, but obviously you probably want them in the grayscale so yeah that's how i've been using uh, this software if i if i want really detailed and very well, let's say realistic trails i just go into flame painter and um, experiment with some of the trails that i can create in here so basically go to filter tile layer which will uh, tile your tile your brush and you can create some really interesting tileable uh, textures for your trails in this software as well and um, if you want to use color obviously you can go to i think gradient might be a good use in here so maybe you know create some of those really cool looking uh, looking trails and they as you see they got various of the uh, various colors uh, for the gradient so you can create some really interesting uh, shapes in the flame painter as well okay so after I hope you find that video useful and I really hope that you're going to experiment with uh, all the substance st stuff because I think substance is a good starting point for anyone uh, trying to uh, create um, own textures, um, especially for uh, VFX like trails, projectiles or, you know, anything like that. And I think I will be keep exploring substance and keep uh, showing you how to do uh, various uh, textures in substance in the future. So thanks for watching and if you could just please share this video because I think many people can benefit from those techniques, especially in VFX for games.